Hello and welcome to That's The Point where we talk about technology stuff and some days we actually show you how to do it. My name is Corey Meyer, here with me today is my distinguished colleague, John Lopez. Hey Corey, how's it going? How often do you get that title, distinguished colleague? <sighs> Not a lot to be honest. <laughs> a, drink it in. All right, so another episode without a desk, which means that we're showing a how-to video. It's kind of a dead giveaway and that would be correct because today we're talking about rod calibrations for layout. Um, so we've been through this before. It's so important. You can have the best technique, the best rods, uh, the best tools, everything. But if your rod bubble is out of calibration, well, you can actually kind of be hosed. <laughs> so today we're calibrating with this little thing. Um, it's called a steady rest. And we like them because they're remarkably cheap, um, easy to use. And well, cheap and easy is pretty much the reason enough in construction. So we want to, if you want to pick up a steady rest, simply reach out to your local building point. We do have a link to the Seco part down below where you can at least check it out, see how, see where it is, see the part number, all that stuff. It's in the link down below. So let's get into this. Let's talk about rod calibration. You only need four things to do this. You're going to need that steady rest. Um, you will need obviously a rod that you want to calibrate. Um, you're going to need a tripod and you're going to need a super handy two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, which you will likely find in your instrument case. Um, to be able to calibrate that. So, Jiang, how do we use this thing? All right, so we got everything here in hand. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab your tripod, get yourself a nice little steady base, and you wanna set it about a pretty decent height because once you actually screw on this the steady rest, it needs to be able to clamp onto your actual rod, not the extension part right here because there's just not enough room for it to grab onto. Now. So like a little bit below chest height. So a little bit below chest people. height or right on, try to stay underneath this this little compartment of gotcha. the actual of your actual rod. So once you get it on here, it's screwed on, you place it in onto it. What you want to do is you want to basically grab the bottom of the rod and you're going to be looking at the bubble level on there. And you're going to move the bottom until the bubble level reads plumb. Now that that's actually level, all I want to do is just turn 180 degrees and I should be reading the same. Now, if it's reading a drift or it's basically not in the same spot, then I want to use the actual three, uh, the two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. And then I want to go ahead and take out half of the adjustment. So what that really means is you're barely moving it just a little bit with the three screws that are found underneath here. So this one needs to come a little bit towards me. So I need to go ahead and actually unscrew it a little bit and then just make the adjustment, whether I need to tighten or loosen the screw. Slightly, just a little bit. Then I would turn it 180, see what it reads on both sides. If it doesn't read the same, then again, you go ahead and actually move the bottom of the rod until it's reading plumb. Once it's plumb, then you would turn it 180, double check that it's there. And then now both sides are actually reading true to each other. And you can keep doing that process, just taking half out with the screw. Half out as much as you want until you get that bubble level to read the same on both sides once you spin it 180. And that's easy. Okay, well there it is. We have dialed in a rod bubble from start to finish. I'm a fan of checking these every day, but suffice to say, you should check them more often than you already are. John, thanks for joining us and showing us the way yeah. on this. And of course, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you're notified of the latest tips, tricks, and pointers that we post here at That's The Point. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.